Hey YouTube, it's Luke here. I've got a new review today for you on the Aqualung Dimension BC. So, I'll just start with the overall build quality of this. This is just very thick denier fabric. Uh, all the loops, hooks, everything are built really well. It's very strong. Um, it's got a lot of mounting points, a lot of D-rings on it, which is very nice. It uses the Sherlock 2 weight system, uh, which is cool. All you have to do is, is pull it, and it releases your whole weight pouch, and clip it back in. Well, when you clip it back in, make sure you hear that click, and then you'll know that it's back in. The inflator hose on it, really nice. It's got an area to hide the low pressure inflator line that comes down here. It's got a couple clips on there. Also comes with a nice little cover to cover that hole so you don't get any sand or debris in it. And uh, very simple to use, the inflate button is right here and your dump button is right on the end. Also with this it has a cable built in and you can pull it and dump from the top of your BC. Speaking of dumping air from the BC, there's three dumps on this. You've got one here, you've got one over the right shoulder, and then you have one down low on the back. So if you find yourself inverted and you need to dump air, you can do that too. Very great setup. One of the things I love about this BC is the cummerbund, the waistband here. Um, what it is is it's got a nice clip, very durable, and it's got two D-rings on the end that are very easy to adjust even with large gloves on. You simply pull them and this thing gets tighter. As we all know, when we get in the water, these things tend to loosen up a little bit. As you can see, this BC has a mounting point for Aqualung's knives and it will fit a lot of other different brands as well. Kind of neat, it's got a Velcro opening. You open it up and then you can screw your locks in on the back and your knife sits right on the front, very accessible to slide in and out. This also doubles uh, to hold your high pressure line. What you do is, is lay your SPG down in here. You close this flap, put this one over the top and your SPG hangs out like a console right here. That's a very nice feature. On this side over here, it's got what they call the Octo Pocket. This is neat because you can just bend your Octo line and slide it right in here. So you don't have to clip your Octopus up here. It stays right down there in the side. Very handy for your buddy to grab it if they ever need it. Really stays out of the way. It's a great feature of this BC. And the inside of this BC has made a great quality material. It's very soft, it's very comfortable to wear. It's got padding on the lower back, which is great. You don't even feel the tank on your back. And inside of the back right here, it's got a carbon fiber back plate. This is a very nice plate, does a great job of holding the tank. As with a lot of back inflate BCs, what you have is uh, your main tank strap, and then you have a small strap that goes up around the valve. A lot of people don't like this design because the tank feels loose in it. It feels like it's gonna fall out. Not with this one, this holds it in very tightly and this strap is very robust, holds the tank very tight. One thing that's great about this strap is it's got these rubber pads inside and it's a quick lock system. So you just slide this over, latch it around your tank, it holds onto the tank. When you're done, you just pull it and release it. You don't have to try and tighten it, don't have to worry about if it's loose or not, it's always the same tension. Also on the tank strap, there are weight pockets. There are two on the back. Uh, these are really great. You know, I usually put two pounds in each one of soft weights. It'll hold soft or hard weights, uh, or three pounds depending on the thickness of the wetsuit I have. And what that'll do is help to trim you in the water. Then when I'm on the surface, I sit more upright, and when I'm underneath, I tend to lay really flat, which is great. Something else to note on the back of the BC, there's an optional HP hose routing port, okay, that's for your high pressure hose. So when you come off of your first stage with your high pressure SPG hose, you can route it through there and down into that little pocket I was showing you. This way you'd have one less hose hanging over your shoulder. Uh, really great for streamlining. The last feature I'll show you with this BC is this elastic back band for the uh, bladder on the back. Um, with most of these, when they, you deflate them and you go under the water, the wing kind of just hangs out on the side loosely. Well, this has an elastic strap that keeps both sides pulled in tight to the BC. It's great for streamlining yourself underwater, uh, just an overall great feel to it. So my overall thoughts on this BC are, I love it. It's built really well, it's got a lot of padding in it, it's a great BC, I've owned about five of them. I've got a lot of dives on this, been diving it for about a year, so I can tell you from experience, it's very nice. Very streamlined design, very robust built quality. This is a great BC for not necessarily a beginner, but somebody who will want to move forward in the future. So if you plan on getting into advanced diving, master diver, dive master, anything like that, this is gonna be great. It's more along the lines of a tech design. Obviously it's made by Aqualung, and <clears throat> they make the Apex line, which is more of their tech line. So this is built very similar to that. 
I'd highly recommend it if you're going to buy it. Uh, you, know, you can always check online, see what the best price you can get is, but always support your local dive shop, as I always say. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. If you take a second, please subscribe to my channel at the end, and leave me any comments you have, questions you might have, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks.